Good morning, BDS crew. Nolan of Black Diamond Services out at our first and only job today. And you will see why it is our only job today. So I'm gonna give you guys a little small walkthrough so you can see what we're up against today. I got my, my guy in there, Adam, working on vacuuming. Uh, the floor was already kind of vacuumed from what the client said, but we are doing just a quick vacuum over everything just to be sure we get any debris off of it and the reason being is because it is a hardwood job and you want to make sure you don't have any debris uh, especially little grains of sand or anything if you're going to be buffing the floor at all that way you don't risk any scratching or anything like that adding to the floor that may already be present so let's go take a look so they got quite the beautiful door here So they already moved everything out, which in hardwood jobs like this, when you're sealing it, is a requirement. So there's a couple things here that hopefully if the cleaning will pop off, but we got this right here. Little room here. This front room area. That I'm just considering it because the room I just walked through was technically the uh, dining area and then the kitchen and then it stops here all this kitchen area here then all this open living room section here you can see there's a little bit of a shine she requested a gloss finish, so we will be doing a gloss finish at the end there. Um, we will be doing two coats of sealer uh, by request. So there's only little things here like this in the floor. Um, there's some scratches here and there. It's hard to see them on the camera, but I'm standing right over one that's about right there in that plank and then the hallway to that bedroom to that bedroom and then just a smidge in this closet here so that's pretty much it for this this job it's a big job um, gonna get it all cleaned up then when we're done cleaning it, we gotta let it dry a little bit. Then apply another product, microfiber it. And then once we're done with that, you gotta let the floor dry out and then come in and seal. Um, go in with the grain of the wood. And then once we're done sealing it, we gotta wait at least an hour and a half to apply the second coat. And then we'll be coming back in to do that. So this should take us all day. I will try and get as much footage as I can, but I have to run one machine. Um, and then my um, worker, Adam, has to do the next machine potentially. So I will try and get as much footage as I can. As you can see, there's some more right here. You can kind of feel the texture to it. And there's stuff in the, in the grooves that are popping out. Other than that, it was in the grooves of the, I just fingernailed it out, it was in the grooves. Okay. Just run the vacuum over it. Sure. So then other than that, pretty much it I mean wood jobs aren't too difficult it's just more a um, you know being cautious and making sure you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing checking the corners around all edges and uh, yeah being very careful um, that's there's more liability to it than most jobs but um, that's really the biggest thing is just being cautious and 
and uh, careful around everything. But otherwise, uh, we are using Basic Coatings products. So I got IFT, intensive floor treatment, in this sprayer here. So we'll be doing small sections at a time to clean it. Usually, usually maybe 100 square feet or so at most. Uh, on average, 10 by 10 sections is usually good, especially if it's hot out. You don't want to uh, have this product dry out before you get to it um, and rinse it off. Uh, light rinse, not very high pressure at all. There are machines that you can get to do hardwood floor cleaning if you'd like. Uh, we will be using the tile wand with light pressure and the buffer for some agitation. And then there's the microfiber pads and all the sealer. I bought all brand new stuff uh, because she requested gloss. I didn't have gloss in stock. So we'll be using gloss hardwood floor refinisher. Um, it is also from basic coatings. So that's where all my experience has been with car uh, cleaning products uh, for hardwood in the past. So, and it works and does the job. So I stick with that. Most other guys that do hardwood jobs, I've noticed they use the same product. So no need to switch from something that works. So that's, that's pretty much it guys for now. Um, I'll see you in the next bit. All right guys, one thing I wanted to go over with you is I got this blanket here or moving blanket, I should say is what exactly it is to set my wand on it. Um, always gotta be careful with hardwood. So I'm using it as a staging area. I'll be moving it around periodically as we do the cleaning. As you can hear, my machine's on, and we're getting ready to prep um, over here to get it done. Now, I'm not really concerned about it too much, but we're just being extra cautious. We're going to take the, the floor off here and run it around kind of to this part of this uh, fireplace. And then we also, probably already saw it in the video earlier, have another one over here. So we're going to take that off just to be extra cautious. Just, you know, you never know, but uh, with the product we're using, it should not harm a stone floor at all. But, um, you know, this is a big job, so you might as well go the extra mile just to make sure you've done everything you can. So we're taping those off just to be safe. And so we took the vent covers off, as you can probably tell. But uh, yeah, we're uh, getting this going. Just wanted to go over that with those couple things with you guys, but yeah, that's why, we're, why I did this, is just to stage it. Um, you know, hardwood can get scratched easily, so better be safe than sorry. All right, so we got this section cleaned. Now I'm just having to microfiber it to, to get some of the excess moisture off the floor. And then what we will do after we do the first step, which is the IFT, Intensive Floor Treatment from Basic Coatings, uh, we'll come back through here and apply Squeaky, which is another product from Basic Coatings. You can actually buy it for maintaining your own floors. Um, and it's applied on the floor and then doing exactly what he's doing is microfibing it. Except obviously when you're cleaning it, uh, you want to try and more go with the grain of the wood. I'm just having him pull up some of the excess water uh, if there is any. What I've been doing is doing a forward wet pass and a dry back pass. So I am picking up majority of it, but um, I'm just doing the microfiber mopping as a precaution. You can see over here, the first section we did is starting to dry out. This floor isn't in bad shape, which is great as far as the dirtiness goes, but there are scratches. Um, you can kind of see them within that, that lit area, reflection area. Um, and there's throughout different sections of the main living spaces. Uh, client is aware of those ahead of time. Like I believe I mentioned earlier, we're doing a gloss finish afterwards, so there may be a little bit of a reflective look, kind of like this. Gives it more of the wet look. 
But uh, other than that, just wanted to show you guys what we got going on so far. And uh, yeah, I um, wanted to show him a couple sections before I had him rinse, rinse it himself. So I've been doing the buffing and the rinsing and then having him microfiber it uh, afterwards. So, um, and then he, he set that up on both fireplaces, just being extra cautious. Probably didn't really need to, but better be safe than sorry on a big job like this. Um, so I'll have him do the rinse on the next part so you guys can see that. All right guys, so he's rinsing it off slowly what I'm doing and what he's doing is forwards passes are doing wet and then back passes dry. So pulling the trigger on the front and then letting loose on the end. And then after he's done, I go over it with this microfiber pad. There's some areas I already did, like underneath here, since he's already clean there. And this is basically what we're doing around the entire thing. So it looks it's slightly damp after he's gone over it. So this will just even up the, the floor and get rid of any of his footprints from walking over it. Um, so when he's done cleaning all the slurry off, I'll run the rest of it over with the, the microfiber pad. Get rid of my footprints and then during this step, we can actually use a blower to dry it out. As you can see, this is the first section that we did and it's basically 100% dry, ready to go for the next step. So I'll be doing this basically to finish out this section. I just treated it right up to the corner over there and then right around the other side of this island here. And then we'll do the other side over here. That leads into the living room on that side. And then of course this down this part here and do right up to this transition to the living room and dining room section as all one part. So I'm doing small sections in this area. And then once, once we get over here, we'll probably go over and knock out the hallway, get all that smaller section out of the way. Could probably do that in one, one swoop. And then um, come over here, probably do this big section um, in two. Dining area in maybe one or two sections, and then this front entryway in one section. And then we'll come back through the next cleaner uh, step, the squeaky, and uh, apply that on, clean it, and then dry it out really quick. And then the next step is the uh, sealer, first coat of sealer, I should say. And then we'll do the second step second coat about an hour and a half or two hours later. It is required that you wait that long for the first coat before walking on it. And then we will be wearing shoe covers, of course, so we don't cause footprints or bring any junk into the house after we, uh, during the sealing process and after for the second coat. So that's it so far, guys. He's almost done rinsing that section. We got plenty of time. This is the only job today. Um, just taking our time, making sure we take care of everything well. And of course, this is a learning experience for him as far as the hardwood goes. Um, this, he's done tile cleaning in the past, so this part is kind of familiar to him, but otherwise, just kind of some of the steps you gotta take to do it this, this way. I wanna make sure that he saw it a couple times from me doing it over here just to refresh your memory but otherwise that's it so far guys
again to reiterate, we are using very low pressure to rinse this. It is the opposite of tile. We're actually using lower pressure than I do in carpeting because all you're wanting to do is just get that slurry up created by the buffer um, clean, you know, scrubbing the floor. And I turned the heat all the way down on my machine. So you don't want to use high heat from what I was taught. Because even when you mix the product, the IFT, intensive floor treatment, uh, you mix it cold. I was never taught to mix it hot. And I've never had a floor from doing any of these steps be a problem because of any of those things. So you mix it uh, four to one, or one to four. So one part IFT, one part, or four parts water. So you got a two, two gallon sprayer right here, electric sprayer that I'm using to put some on the floor and I'm hitting mostly the center to close to the edges so I don't get any on the baseboards. And then uh, I am also using a, a splash guard on the buffer. So when I'm buffing it, it doesn't cause it to fling stuff all over the place. So I'm taking precautionary steps to make things easier uh, as far as having to wipe stuff up afterwards and things like that. So we're just doing this side of the kitchen here that loops around to another opening like this. So right over here. Already did the other side and dried it out. So that way by the time we finish this side and once we're done with that, we're gonna head over to the hallway and do this section. It's probably about, it's like 80 square feet. So I'm just gonna do the entire hallway as one piece. And then we'll move over to the main living area or family room. Do this probably in two sections because I'm trying to be cautious of letting the product dry out and um, you know not letting it dry out before it's rinsed off the floor. Then once we do two sections of that, this area over here is a little bit smaller because we have an entry section over here. So we're gonna do probably this entire portion over here. And then just so you guys know, I'm setting the buffer down like this because you don't want the pad to be facing on the floor because it does have some product on it and I don't want it to dry. So I very carefully set it down with each step. And then anything that has product involved or water, even with the microfiber pad and the cleaner, I'm setting on this as kind of my staging area so I don't leave anything puddling on the floor before I get to it. So that's pretty much it for this portion of it, guys. As soon as he's done rinsing that area, I'm gonna microfiber pad that section and work my way back over to this area here. That way it dries as evenly as possible. We'll probably put a fan blowing into that area. And like I said, the fan is only for drying it during the cleaning process, not during the sealing process. You put a blower or fans on during the sealing process, you run the risk of the sealer not drying evenly across the floor and being that this is all connected there is no transitions I would probably end up having to do the entire thing over again at least a neutral clean and then a reseal to get it to be even so you do not want that so that's why I go slow with this process until I am able to get uh, the Dirt Dragon, which is I believe the name of it. There's a machine you can get that holds the product, puts it down, scrubs, and then rinses at the same time. 
So, um, yeah, that's it so far, guys. A little bit of the buffing. I'm using a non-abrasive pad, nothing too aggressive at all. Just for some light scrubbing. I've got that splash guard on the side, which has a little bit of a cushion to it. So when I get close to an edge, I don't have to worry about it scratching. Probably could move a little faster, but that's all right. And then no rush. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this part. And then I need to get my other hand back here so I can get into this closet area that has a little bit of a walk path. She just wants me to go into and pass the thresholds, but um, this is a closet that has a little bit of walking space, and I just don't feel right about just going right past the door line. So I'm gonna go through with as much of it as I can because when I put the sealer coats on, I want it to be uniform. So, by doing so, I will feel better by hitting the entire thing. But I did ask her what she wanted, and that's what she told me, just thresholds, but I told her, you know what, there's more room than that one. Why don't we go ahead and get all of it? So that's this. All right, we are moving right along. So this is just going over it right after he rinsed it lightly. Just a mop the fiber piece here to get the excess water up a little bit and then I'm gonna speed dry it with a fan. Doing half of the room at a time. Now that we're in a big open room, it's a little easier to do bigger sections and not worry about the product drying out. Kind of no different in that aspect as it is to carpet when you pre-spray. got to do a certain amount at a time. You don't want the pre-spray to dry out. Clean, not clean. Once it dries, it'll go back to looking more of that appearance, but then we'll put the gloss finish on it. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half, pretty close to. We've got the first coat on the floor. So it is a gloss finish. So over here, it is a little shinier than it was originally of course now that it is clean and had a single coat put on so being that there's such a big wide open floor and uh we can only do so much at a time with the sealer 
you got to make absolute sure that you overlap all your passes so you don't leave any lines. So he's got the bottle of sealer ready over here to start. And then we're make, making our way over into the kitchen. Over here. Kind of do this edge around here and then I make my way back out. And I'm going like this, going with the, the uh, planks. So I always try and keep going with the planks when I'm sealing it. Making our way around here. Then into the big room. I'm just kind of looking around as I'm filming this. But uh, yeah, there's just not very good light over here, so it's not looking as reflective as some of the other areas where natural light is shining down because you don't even see it right here. But then when you back up over here, and now you can see how it is. So that's the way it's supposed to look. I'm doing one more coat, and then we will be all done.